guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're gonna be doing a part two to my DMing a celebs to pick my full face of makeup video. If you guys love that video, it did so well. So today we're doing that again. I'm actually DMing you guys, my followers, to pick my full face of makeup. So I sent out a bunch of DMs, asked you guys to reply with a video of your product suggestions, and now we have enough for a full face of makeup. But before we get started, you know I gotta remind you to subscribe to my channel. It is free and it is the best free investment that you can make, okay? Invest in your life, your happiness, and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's start DMing you guys. So obviously we're starting out with primer, the first step of my makeup routine, and we got a response from Miss Saucy Caro. Caro, I don't know. Sorry if I butchered your name, but anyways, I asked her to send a little vid of her primer recommendation. I have really dry skin, so lately I've been using the base tape by Tarte. It's really good for dry skin, and also I love your palette. Oh, she has my palette! Give me the little warm and fussies in my belly, why don't you? But let's do it. She suggested the base tape tart hydrating primer. I'm excited about this suggestion Honestly, like I am shocked. I haven't tried this one before because I have tried the tart quench primer Their poreless mattifying primer, but I haven't tried this one yet It's supposed to be super hydrating keep your makeup lasting for like 12 hours So they say and honestly my skin is really dry right now, especially on my acne on my cheeks My foundation just clings to it But usually hydrating primers like this are perfect for when I do that to my skin <laughs> It smells like coconut, it smells really good, feels lightweight, feels refreshing, and I like the way it gave my skin a nice glow. Definitely good for my drier days, but I am an oily skin type girl, so I gotta be careful with hydrating primers if it is a hot summer day or I wanna wear my makeup for like a really long time, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise it gets too shiny. But we'll see how the foundation wears on top over it and check back in at the end of the video. Moving on to foundation. I think you should use the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. Okay. Aw, thanks. Thanks for watching them. We have the foundation right here. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I haven't used this in a minute, but everyone and their mother was using this a while back. It was definitely a hot product everyone was talking about. And honestly, I kind of stopped using it because I didn't like the way it was like sitting on my skin. Let's try it again today. Give it a second chance. See what happens. A little goes a long way. And I find with cream product, you do need a hydrating base. So I'm glad that the Tarte Hydrating Primer was the suggestion for this one. How did you know? You guys are working together. So now let's blend it out with a beauty blender and I find with like this cream foundation you definitely want to do pouncing motions and not wiping. It just looks thick and cakey if you use too much. With my oily skin I feel like it tends to break down cream products a lot faster but I love using cream foundation sticks for cream contour so. That's just my opinion on that foundation. It was a good suggestion. It has really great reviews and I know so many people love this foundation. I just kind of stopped wearing it because I have acne and like it doesn't look good on it, you know? But thank you, Kelsey, for your suggestion and participating in my video. Moving on to the next product. So next up is concealer and we slid in Miss Yanelle's DMs asking her what type of concealer she thinks I should use for this video and she responded. Let's see what she said. Thanks for DMing me. I love you. I'm like your biggest fan. Aw, S Club. Um, yes, girl. LA girl. Okay. A classic. First of all, so cute. Can we talk about her brows? Dang, I should ask her about a brow product. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. So let's apply, this is a bomb affordable concealer, you guys. I'm using the shade Light Ivory. So let's apply this under my eyes. And honestly, like this is a good concealer, but what shade did I get? Why is it orange on my face right now? Definitely looks more of like a color corrector than a concealer. So I would probably go for like a little bit more of a yellow undertone because I would use this more so as a color corrector. It's actually like a peach tone, perfect for color correcting those dark circles under there, but not so great for brightening bad shade. Good concealer suggestion. So I'm just gonna mix that with a little bit of another concealer that's my proper shade because, you know, we still wanna create a good look. The formula of the LA Girl Concealer is bomb. It's a lightweight concealer. If you set it really well, it doesn't crease on you. And it's just a great affordable option. So next up, we need a setting powder. So we had to reach out to Aaliyah.is. My recommendation for you is Fit Me Do Setting Powder from Maybelline. Love you. Thanks for being me. Her accent, everything, by the way. Love that. Second of all, she's definitely S Club because she recommended we use the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. And if you are true S Club, you know that this is definitely my favorite drugstore uh, setting powder. It's so good. Gives you a little tint of color that just helps to brighten. So let's apply that with my damp beauty blender, just packing it on. We'll bake my under eye. I let that sit for a couple minutes. Now I'll just dust it off to reveal the perfectly set, creaseless under eye. 
We love it. Mom's suggestion, my S Club always got my back. But a part of me thought you guys would like troll me and give me crazy products to try. Like a blue lipstick and like purple eyeliner. I don't know. You guys seem to be picking good stuff so far. So before we move on to the next step, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what's happening to the foundation. You can see on my chin, it's just like accentuating the dry patches of where I like have healing blemishes. And then on this blemish, it's like barely covered it at all. It actually rubbed off. My cheek acne is looking hella crusty. And the more you apply, the more it just looks cakey and dry, even the way it's like looking around my nose. You know, the foundations that I normally reach for don't accentuate those negative parts. Like they just help to cover them up and like make it look more perfect. So like, that's the only thing that just doesn't work for me and that it works for everybody else. And I'm just confused. So that's a little foundation update. You know, it's a good foundation, has so many good reviews. It works for so many people, but I just feel like with my skin, it just never looks right. <laughs> So next up is bronzer and we slid in Miss Tabs done 1997's DM. She responded right away. She says, girl, I got you. Let's see what her video. Let me just say much love from Canada and I'm here to help you choose your bronzer. So the Maybelline City Bronzer, I got you, boo. I got you. And I got you, honey bunny. Okay, I felt that. So let's use her recommendation, the Maybelline City Bronzer. I did have to go and buy this one. Surprisingly, I did not have this one in my collection. I've used this one before. I just couldn't find it. So let's apply right where I normally bronze, just in the hollows of my cheeks, wherever the sun would hit around, you know, my forehead. You guys know the deal. Love how you guys are suggesting a lot of great affordable drugstore products. Recently, I just did the Neutrogena products review, but I definitely want to include more drugstore video ideas on my channel so if you guys want to see me review anything new drugs or products that you want my opinion on leave them in the comments so I can go through and I can really just see what you guys want to see and I'll film that for you but what a big difference between you know the affordable products being suggested in this video versus the products we were suggested in the celebrity DMs video they bougie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we had a lot of high-end products they were so good though too like the final makeup look was bomb well, now let's show them how to get a bomb look with some affordable products too this is a gorgeous bronzer lightweight, built very slowly. Honestly, it helped to kind of even smooth out the look of the crustiness on my cheeks. It just looks smooth. I look more sun-kissed. It's a great formula of a bronzer. I'm gonna do a quick little nose contour and then we'll move on. Next up, I asked you guys for a blush suggestion and Addison9612 replied. Hi, Sylvia. You should use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Quirky. I Quirky. use it a lot, so I hope you like it. The Tarte blushes, honestly, you can never go wrong with them. So I'm excited about that suggestion. But honestly, the shade Quirky, like I could not find that anywhere. I swear it's discontinued. You guys let me know. But I got something that looked pretty similar to the shade she was talking about. It's called Captivating. It's a really pretty kind of light peach tone. So let's apply that. I really like the Tarte blushes. They have the most subtle bit of like luminosity to it where it'll give you a really nice youthful glow, but it won't be like shimmery enough that it'll like accentuate your acne if you have any texture like I do on my cheeks. It makes your skin look healthy. It just gives you a nice little subtle blush tint. So it's completely applied. Love the shade, love the formula. I also love that Tarte's products are vegan and cruelty free. So if you're interested in that, now you know. Great suggestion, moving on. Next up, we slid in some DMs for a highlight suggestion and we got a response from Miss Kalita XO. I like if you use the Wet n Wild highlight because I think it's a really good one and it's pretty cheap. Thank you're you right. very much, I love you. Love you back. Love her reasoning behind it too. So straightforward and to the point. I like it and it's cheap. That's all I need to know. So we have the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlight. It has like a champagne kind of pearl reflect to it. So let's go in with this. I do really like this highlight. Such an affordable price point, but a great quality. The formula kind of gives you like a subtle luminosity that you can build. You know, it doesn't have like chunky glitter in it or anything. So the less layers, the more natural you'll get like a sweaty looking highlight. But if you want to go all out, literally just wet your brush. And these guys are blinding. So. Great suggestion. My S Club knows. Also apply a little bit of that on my Cupid's bow. Next up, we had to do a brow product. So I slid in a bunch of DMs and we got a response from Miss Myrily. Myrily, Myrily, Myrily. And we got a response from Myrily Ray. Let's play her video. Sylvia, I'm Myrily. I love you so much. Thank you for Myrily. choosing okay, got me it. in your video. So the brow product that I always use is the e.l.f. brow pencil. It is so cheap, so affordable, and so good. And yes, I hope you like it. And can we check out the palette Stop. on my lids my right palette. now. She's rocking my palette. She's offering an affordable suggestion. We oh. love her. S Club faux show. So we have the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. My brows are 
all over the place, you know? I'm trying to grow them out. I have three and a half more weeks until I get my appointment with that brow specialist I was telling you guys about a couple of videos ago. So, I mean, I'm stressed. I'm tired of my brows looking like I forgot to trim the hedges. Hate the way they look grown out, but I'm just dealing with it because Lord knows I'm gonna be happy once I have like the perfect feather brow. I do like this brow pencil. It does have a little bit of a thicker, creamier tip, which is great for filling in really quickly. But if you like to create really tiny, precise brow hairs, this one, you know, once it gets dull, you'll probably have to like sharpen her up again. But it comes with the spoolie brush, which is great. And the price point like can't be beat. I also really love the ColourPop one, bomb. And also love the Maybelline Brow Precise Brow Pencil too. All great options if you're looking for an affordable brow product. So brows are on and jeez, browser caterpillars. Anyways, brow pencil, good, bomb, love it. Brows still look crazy because they're growing out. It is what it is. Moving on. Moving on to eyeshadow primer. I DM'd a bunch of you. We got some responses. Let's take a look at Hazel's response. And she's so cute for apologizing for responding late. She was at a volleyball game. I hope you won that game. Go sports. Yes. I would recommend the Pro Filter Amplifying Eyeshadow Primer by Fenty Beauty. Buy the merch. Buy the merch. I love her. She's wearing it. She's wearing it. I mean, listen to it. Link in the description. Get your S-Club sweater. They're comfy, cozy, trendy everything you could want, go and cop yours down below. But she recommended we use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer, and I'm pretty sure I bought this like a while back, like, review it in a video, and then I never used it after that, so I must not have liked it. I don't know. We'll give it another shot today. Stuff gets lost in my makeup collection. Sometimes I try things once, and then it's like nowhere to be found, and my life is in shambles, you know? So I'll just apply that directly from the little doe foot applicator. Ooh, yeah, it's one of these primers. I definitely forgot. It's like a very liquidy, kind of thin, lightweight consistency, and it's not gonna cover up like any of your discoloration or anything like that like the MAC soft ochre primer would but it resembles more of like the Urban Decay primer potion I feel like blend that in there with my finger try not to poke my eye with these long ass hair. interesting so my eyelid is really dry right now you can see that the eyeshadow primer is actually accentuating the dryness which kind of sucks but that's also my crusty eye problems like <laughs> if you ain't got these eye problems like me then you're chilling I actually like to set my primer so I'm gonna just go in with a light layer of this MAC studio fix foundation powder right over top now this will add a little bit of extra coverage and help cover up my veins and stuff. So primer's on. We'll see how the eyeshadow applies over top. But from what I remember, I feel like it is a good primer. I just prefer something that gives me more coverage right off the bat. Skip the step of having to apply a whole other powder on top. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on to eyeshadow. So we got Michael Kudra, my baby. Honestly, you gave me the easiest one ever. Because what better palette to use than your own? The no. Sylvia Gani, I knew it. Cosmetics I knew it. And use the rebel shade blue. Good luck, can't wait to watch the video. Oh, Michael, you're so cute. Literally, Michael has been a long time supporter. I've seen him in my comments, just so supportive. So thank you, Michael, for just having my back and watching my videos. Now giving me a bomb suggestion. You are true S club. So we'll save rebel for last probably. I think I wanna do like a nice blue smoked out lower lash line. I've been really liking like a pop of color under there. So we'll try that. But first let's go in with ginger and let's just place that right above the crease, blending back and forth, building that color and you best believe that these shadows are pigmented AF, blendable, buttery, and shout out all my S Club babies who own this palette too. Make sure you tag me in your looks if you're creating them. I'm constantly reposting you guys and I love to see the looks that you guys come up with. So once the edges are completely blended out, we're ready to move on. I'm gonna go in with Sisterhood. So I'll just keep packing that on in the crease and then blending out the edges until we get a nice seamless kind of gradient between the orange and this raspberry shade. I'll also bring that color about like halfway in on the outer corner of my lid. Now now that those are blended, we're ready for the next shade. I'm gonna go in with Unapologetic, which is the black shade in the palette. And I'm gonna take that on a small kind of smudge brush and we're gonna create a really smoky, thick black wing. We've got a nice gradient between those. Let's move on. Now let's go in with the shade Prince. It's this really bright champagne shimmer that's perfect for an inner corner highlight because it's blinding, especially if you wet your brush. The highlight shades in the palette are really good for an inner corner highlight too. Now we're finally ready to use the shade Rebel, the one that Michael demanded. We use in the tutorial. And I'll just apply that very tightly to my lower lash line and then slowly blend out. So eyeshadow's on, looking bomb, obviously. You know it's your girl's palette. She's gonna give you nothing less but extraordinary. Definitely had a feeling you guys would choose my palette and it was the most requested one. For mascara, we got a response from Maria underscore MTZ underscore B. I recommend you use the Hypno Star Mascara by Lancome. Got it right here. An amazing suggestion. I do really like this mascara. I haven't used it in a while, but it's bomb. The wand is so interesting. It's like this little S shape. And they say the wand shape just helps hug your lashes, get them from root to tip. And this mascara 
is all about volume. It's buildable, so you can really make them as thick and full as you want. Look how long it's making them, and I didn't even curl my lashes because we're applying falsies after. We'll leave the lower lashes bare. I think the blue will pop more that way too. Last step for eyes is falsies. We send out a bunch of DMs, so let's see one of the replies. Hey Sylvia, I recommend Lily lashes in the style Milan as they are lightweight and perfect for everyday. Life. Your wish is my command, okay? We got Lily lashes in the style Milan. I love this style. I love Lily lashes in general. They have so many great lash styles, but this one in particular, bomb, wispy, flares out, you know, everything that I love in a falsy. I am gonna apply these off camera though to save time. This video is probably 10 years long. I'll be right back. Next up is lip products. Let's see what we got. Sorry it took so long. I had to put a little makeup on just so I didn't scare you. <laughs> Don't um, but I got you with two Story products just in case. Um, oh, too. I have a liquid lipstick from Anastasia in the shade Ashton and have a lippy stick from ColourPop in the shade Trust Me. I love you so much I and uh, that's it. Bye. You're so cute. Her makeup looks so good, girl. It was worth the wait and literally why are you me? You know, gotta put a little bit of makeup on before anything. But she gave us two lip suggestions and I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. So we will use that one. So let's go for it apply this bad boy i'm glad this is not like a green or like some crazy color because we have a lot of color going on on our eyes already we need a nice neutral brown oh no i can't remember wait what is this anastasia liquid lipsticks though are so bomb i really like the applicator it's like long and flat so it makes it easy to line your lips even if you don't need the lip liner so lip product is on i like this color with these eyes they're giving me fall vibes here we like it we like it so here we have it this is the full face using only products that you guys suggested through the dms i love how the look turned out you guys chose some great products i'm glad i did this i was able to really interact with you guys i got to rediscover kind of products i had forgotten about or maybe hadn't used in a while there was some first impressions and there was some OG products that I'm glad I used again. Definitely, you guys are killing it with the affordable product suggestions. Let me know if you want a part two of this video. Maybe this time I can tell you guys, you know, choose some crazy products, really challenge me with the makeup look. That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click this button right here to subscribe to my channel. My palette is available to shop right here for the very affordable price of $24. Get yours now. Check out these other videos of mine to continue having a Sylvia Gani and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.